everyone. Welcome to week six of our remote learning. Uh, this should be a very quick video since last week's was a lot more in depth. Um, one exciting thing that I'm going to try this week, hopefully it'll work out uh, as well as I'm imagining. On Tuesday at 9.30 a.m., I'm going to be trying to do a Kahoot game. Uh, so it's going to be a Kahoot review. It's just going to be fun trivia um, just to kind of mix it up and do something fun. The challenge for this is that Kahoot, you don't get to see the question on your screen, only the teacher's screen shows the question. So to get around this, I'm going to be doing a live stream Google Meet while that review is going. So you can be on the Google Meet on one tab, you'll be able to see the questions that way. Uh, you can interact with me and then on a separate tab, you'll be able to answer the questions from the Kahoot review. And it should be just a fun way to kind of interact in person while also doing a review game. Just just to try and do something different than our just weekly uh, gim kit games. Should be fun. Uh, just to take a look at what we're going to be doing this week of April 27th through May 3rd. We're going to be starting the blue square of Unit 5 Recycle the Cycle. Just like for the green circle stuff, all the information is still loaded on uh, my website. All the instructions are there. The main thing we're going to need to pay attention to is the due date because there's two different due dates for this section. So let's go ahead and jump to the blue square section and take a look at that. So we're going to start with some notes. You can see those are due May 3rd. There's the video for the notes. You can access all the different uh, note sheets that you're going to need. Um, you're going to have a rock identification lab. Normally we would do this lab in person. So I've given you some information ahead of time and some images of the rock since you won't be able to actually hold them. Uh, I recognize this one will be a little bit more challenging than doing it in person, but hopefully I've given you enough information that you can figure it out from there. Do please contact me if you get stuck on this one, uh, because normally you actually get to hold the rocks and you won't be able to do that this time, unfortunately. Uh, we have a weathering gizmos. It's pretty fun. The instructions might be a little difficult to find. They're hidden underneath this gizmos tab. So we have the instructions here. And then the assignment for each one is located below. If you can't log in to GimKit for or to sorry into Gizmos for any reason, email me. I can send you back your login information. I have it for all of you. So if you can't log in to the Explorer Learning website, please let me know. I will help you get logged in uh, relatively quickly. Uh, there's also a Planet Earth Caves. You don't need to write anything down for this. It's a really terrific video. And it has a lot to do with uh, uh, chemical weathering from dissolving limestone to get our caves. It's from the Planet Earth series. It's really, really great. Please watch it if you have time. If you are really short for time, this is something you can skip. Uh, May 3rd, we also have rock cycle notes due. Here's the video. Here's the note sheets for you. In these notes, there's a, a drawing attached to the Google Doc. You just need to double click that drawing to go ahead and edit it and then hit save when you're done and it'll import your drawing right into the Google Doc. I have it set up for you, so hopefully it's pretty easy. And then finally on May 3rd, you have a GIM kit review to be done as well. This one will also time out after 30 minutes of you actively participating. So this is what we have up through task six is due May 3rd. Task seven, which is the rock cycle story, is due May 10th. This is a bigger project. Um, it's not due till the 10th. And then the level up quiz for the blue square is not due until the 10th as well. Don't wait till the very end of the week on the 10th to get these two done because part of Black Diamond is due on May 10th as well. I'm just trying to get these spaced out so that you have about the same amount of tasks in each unit so you're not overwhelmed at one point. I think that's going to be it for the instructions for you. Um, just as a little reward for people who are watching the videos and going all the way to the end, here is a kind of hidden bonus message for you to reward you for making it to the end. Normally that rock cycle story, the rock cycle story that is due on May 10th, is done in large groups in class, and it's really meant to be fun way for you guys to show off your creativity. I will already know if you understand the rock cycle based on your level up quiz. So really the rock cycle story historically has been a really fun way for groups to show off their creativity and write these fictional stories where their characters go through the rock cycle. You are welcome to skip that assignment. You can skip task number seven. If you don't do it, 
It will not go in as a zero. That is something that's typically done in groups, and it's really fun. If you want to write a story, go ahead. But if you've made it to the end of this video and you're hearing this, you can skip task number seven just as a reward for watching the video all the way through to the end. Um, that's going to do it, guys. Stay safe. Uh, we're on the home stretch. Just a few more weeks. Thanks, guys.